Okay, so these are seven fish that you do not want to try out as a beginner. Seven fish that are pretty hard to keep and there's a few reasons why they make this list today. So make sure you stick around to the end for the whole list and without any further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so before we get into the list, I just want to let you guys know that some beginners have actually had lots of success with these fish. It's just that quite a few haven't and there's a few reasons why and I'll list them separately for each fish so you can get some detailed descriptions on why these fish are such a bad choice for beginners. But this is just my opinion, guys. There's different opinions out there. Without any further ado, let's get back to the video. Okay, so I'm gonna try and make this list as interesting as possible, but the first fish we have on the list is the big plecos. Not your bristlenose plecos or like your zebra plecos, those sort of things. I mean the big plecos, your common plecos that get to about this big. You'll see them at almost every fish store, but here in Australia, we actually don't see them as much, but in places like America, like Petco and PetSmart, I've heard they sell them a lot there. So an alternative to big plecos is the bristlenose catfish, which gets a lot smaller than the big plecos. So bristlenose catfish get to about 10 centimeters, whereas your big plecos get to about this big. I'm not kidding. The reason why this is such a bad beginner fish is because these fish are kept in such small environments. They need a really big tank. So I reckon a minimum tank size for a pleco that gets really big would probably have to be at least 100 gallons. You need a monster tank to keep these in. And really, if you do have a tank that's like 50 gallons, 40 gallons, or even down to 20 gallons, do not get these guys to clean your tank. They get way too big and you're better off getting something like the bristlenose catfish. Okay, so this might shock a few people, but the next fish on the list is the ram cichlids. When I mean ram cichlids, I mean all of your rams, like the balloon rams, the German blue rams, different types of rams out there, even the gold rams. The reason being why this makes my list is is because even though so many people have had success breeding them and just keeping them in general doesn't mean that they are easy. The ram cichlids are actually a very finicky fish. They're gonna need to have their parameters perfect and to get the best success. These guys are really great at adapting to new environments. So when you change the temperature by a few degrees, that's actually a really big jump and they will get stressed out and might die. With that being said, if you're raising the temperature one degree every few hours is preferred. Yeah, the ram cichlids are finicky and if the rams do get picked on by other fish, it will really affect them in a negative way. So you don't want that to happen. Number two on the list is the ram cichlid. Okay, so you'll probably see this in almost every list about the worst beginner fish but the next fish on the list you guessed it is goldfish the reason why you don't want goldfish as a beginner is because these guys get so much bigger than what you think people keep these in bowls and I don't even think a 40 gallon breeder tank is even big enough for something like the common varieties such as the comet tails or shabunkins or common goldfish so the comet tailed goldfish is one of the most popular goldfish you'll see and the easiest to find excluding really the tail they can get all the way up to about 30 centimeters and over. So you're actually gonna need a pond to keep these guys really happy. Even those feeder goldfish you see at the local fish stores, they are still going to get really big. So those will get to about 30 centimeters as well. These guys are also big poopers, which means they could just they produce so much waste that you need lots of filtration to keep the water healthy for the fish. So lots of filtration for these fish and a really big tank size. That's why they make my list of worst beginner fish. Okay, so this next fish isn't really a fish that you'll see at your local fish store all the time. This next fish is the flower horn. So the flower horn is a very expensive fish, at least in most areas. So something a beginner should never try out with. These fish are really hard to keep because they're so aggressive and they actually are a bit finicky. You need to make sure you don't have any sharp objects with these fish because the male's noggin, it can actually pop on sharp rocks and sharp objects. So you wanna have really smooth stuff in the tank and not too many live plants. The flower horn will eat those leaves right off. They just make the list because they're so expensive and they are pretty finicky. Okay, so number five on the list is sharks. So I mean freshwater aquarium sharks. So what I mean by those is the Siamese flying fox shark. I have one myself. I mistaken it for a Siamese algae eater. I'm also talking about the silver shark, red tailed shark, the rainbow shark, the red tailed black shark, all those aquarium sharks you'll see out there. The reason being all these fish get really big, but the reason why these guys are bad for beginners is because of how big they get. So you'll see them in the aquariums at about this big, but actually they get to about this big. For something like a silver shark, also known as a bala shark, something like that, you'll need a really long tank and 
make sure it's got some depth to it too. Yeah, shark's definitely not a way to go to start out with unless you have the appropriate tank size for these fish. Okay, so number six on the list are the Chinese algae eaters. You'll actually see these fish super often. Now, the reason why these aren't a great beginner fish at all is because they get way too big than what you think. The Chinese algae eaters get to about 30 centimeters, which I think is about that big. Another really big fish. I've seen so many of my friends starting out or just uh, people on YouTube and I see them starting out and they have one of those sucking catfish which is really just a Chinese algae eater and I'll see them in the tank and they're only about that big so far but they're in a tank that's 20 liters or 40 liters. To be honest, you need a tank that's no less than 200 liters or around 50, 60 gallons but the bigger the better. I recommend you get some smaller algae eaters out there than the Chinese algae eaters. Something like the Hillstream loaches or the Otto Sinkless catfish or even the Bristlenose plecos as I said before. But I wouldn't try out with the Chinese algae eaters. In fact, I don't think I'm going to get Chinese algae eaters any day soon. Okay, so I might get a little bit of hate on this one, but I thought I'd put this last on the list, but this is probably the most important one. Seventh on the list of worst beginner fish is any expensive fish. That is a pretty broad option. And what I mean is fish that are over like 20 bucks a piece. I recommend you try go for $10 and under, well, 10 Australian dollars. It's probably different in your currency, but something that's probably called cheap. I would go for like cheaper fish, not fish that are cheap, but got poor genetics. Like those are sort of guppies, but I mean things like the Harley Quinn Razaboras or the Dwarf Garamis or Danios, those sort of fish. You should start with those. Even Corydoras like the bronze are under $10. I'd first of all have some experience with some fish and then get something that's a bit pricier, that's a bit more fancier you could say. But any expensive fish I wouldn't go for. In fact, I still try to avoid expensive fish. There you have the top seven worst beginner fish. Now, these are just my opinion. I hope you guys did find this helpful and try to avoid any of these fish if you're just starting out and you're watching this video. So thank you so much for watching. And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content just like this and for some entertaining ones now and then too. Have an awesome day and I'll see you all in the next video.